This is why you never paddleboard out in the ocean. And there you have it, Reason 4269, I'd ride cross country on a bike with no seat, pause, before I'd go out into the open ocean. That is a nope of the highest order. Those are South American sea nettles. A species of jellyfish that can have a bell, you know, that umbrella looking part, more than three feet across. To go with tentacles that can range anywhere from three to ten feet long. And I don't think I even really need to tell you, but yeah, touching one of those can be really bad for your health. They use venom to paralyze prey, but it can also cause excruciating pain and a really bad rash if you get stung. And if you think that's bad, I got something even worse. This is what a jellyfish pool party in Peru looks like. Like the devil's bubble bath. And guess what? This kind of thing? It's only gonna get worse. Because whether you want to believe in climate change or not, the more the Earth's thermostat gets turned up, the more the jellyfish start turning up on us. Since unlike most of the effery in the ocean, jellyfish actually do better in warmer waters with less oxygen. Especially since climate change means more CO2, more CO2 means more algae blooms, and guess what likes to eat algae? And you don't have to be in the water to get rocked by jellyfish. There have been times where jellyfish swarms got so bad they dead for a cause power outages because they managed to clog the pipes of power plants. Now go ahead and add the fact that some jellyfish can spawn 45,000 eggs a day, especially if we're actively murking the things that eat them. Just another reason to save the turtles.